are coming. I hope we don't get the uh <laughs> the uh Hi everybody. Hi Danielle. Hello. That's us. All right, we're on and we're, we're live. On. Hello everybody. Hi, Hi everybody. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday <laughs> Facebook That's right. fans. You're tuning in to Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Libri the Artist <laughs> and, and Debbie LaFrance. And me, Debbie LaFrance. So how is everybody yeah. today? You're watching on Get On um, WJZZ, T Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. What's going on today? Streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and uh, Facebook Live. Yes. Thank you for joining. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you would like to advertise or sponsor this lovely platform, please email us at WJZZCoolTVOfficial at gmail.com. So, um, welcome, welcome, and it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and we were driving up, and we seen some of the most magnificent clouds. And Cleavy's out here with her phone, and she's clicking away <laughs> as I'm driving down Woodward <laughs> Avenue. It was so cool. It's yes. all about why art. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tonight we're, um, yeah, we're actually. Gonna... I don't know. We've been in the Detroit mood. So you might have seen us, you know, just kind of out and about or whatever. But we actually have a guest, a special guest today, Detroit gallery owner and curator and artist. Um, a lot of times we introduce people that are in Southfield or you see people that have um, galleries outside of Detroit or downtown Detroit. And our guest today has a, a gallery right here in the center of Detroit, in the heart of Detroit, right by Motown. So um, without further ado, allow us to introduce Oma Misha, owner of Irwin House. Yes. Welcome. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Can, can you hear us? Can you guys hear me? I don't hear. Can anything. you hear us? I can hear you. Hello. I don't know if she's on yet. I can't hear. <laughs> I can't hear. Turn up, guys. <laughs> it's a little technical difficulties, oh, no. but Misha's gallery is on West Grand Boulevard, and she has an. It's it's just a cute, quaint little house, and she's got this really cool lot on next to it, and she has all kinds of really great events going on and i think mm -hmm. friday night i know she has an event um i'm not quite sure yes the details yes. on it i won't go into detail till we can hear her. yeah she can tell us about <laughs> that um but she has an event going on right now a show uh called the space between and it's featuring several new york artists and also an artist right here in detroit sam cathar yes right um i actually had the privilege of of peeking at a lot of the artwork oh, and it's you? absolutely extraordinary um just extraordinary i won't go into too much detail but it's it's such a balance of color and um abstract is vibrant but it's subtle at the same time it looks rich <laughs> I can't but it's not that expensive so it's a lot of times we think of artwork that we have to be rich in order to get it and you really can get it at your price uh, your price point, but it can make your home and enhance it in such a and way. Enjoy it. You know, um, I always say if you look at a piece of art and it makes you happy, like when I went to Paris and I walked in and I seen that piece of art, and every day I look at it and it makes me smile. And that's what yeah. art doesn't have to match the sofa as long as you enjoy it and like it and everything. So, so we're having a bit of technical little, difficulty. So please thank you for rocking with us for a second. We're trying uh, to get Misha so she can hear, yeah. we can hear her. And thank you for being patient, Misha, as we figure out the sound, because we can't hear you. <laughs> so, Misha, can you speak? Can you hear us? Hello? Hello, anything? She's talking. Is she talking? We can't hear her. Okay. And I don't know what happened at the station, but... We'll continue to hype up your gallery, girl, because it's yeah, beautiful. She yes. is beautiful. The space is beautiful. It sits on... um. Like it's right off Linwood right. and Boulevard. And then there's a um a, like a lot next to it. And she's had some outdoor events, which are yes. really cool. Yes, she does um a mixture of the art gallery events in the space, and then she has big pieces outside. And I think that's what's so cool I think about so her cool. space too. A couple of last year the artwork on the fence yeah and yeah. then now she has them in the ground and stuff like yeah, that cemented some, in the ground some really really great pieces hey of art. misha anything yet we can't hear anything no i don't hear anything 
Oh, no. I don't know. Goodness. Come on, oh, man. We really were looking so forward Especially to Especially, you guys see that big, well, what you can see is a big, that blue right behind her is by artist Sam Cathar. She's actually one of the Detroit artists showcasing. And she's she's one of the newer artists compared to, um, uh, compared to by. Oh, yes. I remember and meeting yeah, her. Yeah. She's yeah. Young. Yeah. She's, she's just young, so... but her work is so powerful. Yeah. It's, I met her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what her technique is or how she does it. It looks almost like, goodness, it almost looks like water. Um, but she's done street scenes and just these big, bold, vibrant, like you see that behind Misha where it's just that nice shade of aqua blue, but then she has the rich, almost like clouds going by. Right, I love right, it. right. I love it. She actually did an artist talk. Erwin she, House hosted an artist talk. Did, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. What did you think about that artist talk? I really enjoyed it. it Me too. Really, it was just really informative and just to be able to, they, they really came from the gut. You know, they really spoke from the gut. It mm -hmm. was just a really neat time. And I love hearing artists talk. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a really unique kind of a, mm -hmm. it's just a very unique thing, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm going to put If you in. missed it, it's, um, again, the space between Irwin House Gallery. Um, the link is on YouTube. So if you look up Irwin House Gallery or the space in between, the artist talk gives a bit about the artist and the current expedition. Expedition. <laughs> expedition if you want to drive a truck. Yeah. No, the exhibition currently going on is through October. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it it has the artist talk there for those of you that missed it. They may want to tune in. Right. But she interviews the four artists involved in the exhibit. And they speak on their techniques. Mm -hmm. They give you a bit about their studio tours and previous That's works right. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, how they go about it. Uh, one of them actually showed us his his easel, which I thought was well, that easel was easel really in the world. cool. I know. And he said that how they they don't make it anymore or something like that. And he was in a really cool big space. One. Yeah, he was in a really, really cool. So then we took him down the hall, and he had that sculpture. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. I really, it was a great. great I enjoyed great. it. Hey, Misa, if you could try to maybe turning up your volume on your computer. I don't know much about anything technical, but um, well, she'll be back. She'll okay, be back. I can, um, um, again, thank you guys for rocking with us. You're really getting down and dirty talking art right now. You're talking with Debbie Lapratt and, <laughs> and me and Calibri, and we got Misa <laughs> really talking right now. <laughs> So yeah, but I um, I just I really enjoyed the artist talk. I guess more than more so than others that I've seen. I like that there were four, and you got to see the artists interacting with each other. Right, right, right. Um, and I like going into the gallery. I like when yeah. they're showing their space. Yeah, I think that is just yeah. really a, a neat thing when you can actually get into their space mm -hmm. and actually see their um, see see their you know how how what the space looks like you know mm -hmm. like the workspace and it's like come into my studio it's like all messy and so <laughs> dusty and clay everywhere and stuff like that you know you go into different people's uh i'm kind of switching things around so yeah so it's like really cool yeah. wasn't that guy what's he from where was he from the new guy, york it was from new york they were from new york yes, they were yes. from new york but our one artist was she from here yeah 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 she was yeah. about wasn't she about five years doing Four or five years. Change? I think she did say that yeah. she started painting about five years ago as yeah. a release. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Misha, can we? Can you? Can you shout, Misha, so we can hear? Come on, <laughs> yell! Hey, hello. And, but you know what? This is more good for you to come on and, and visit Irwin House Gallery and uh, Oma Misha's uh, page, so that you can get more information directly from her. Yeah, she has such a beautiful spirit and an eye for talent. Oh, oh God, my yes, God! Yes, the exhibits yes. that go through Irwin House, phenomenal, phenomenal work, phenomenal artistry, phenomenal what, artists. What I like, it's a house and it's a house setting. You yeah. walk in and it's like you're in your living room. Yeah. Then you go upstairs and it's like another room, and mm -hmm. it just feels like it feels like a home. It's like yeah. a comfortable place to be. It's not really big, but it's really cool. Uh, to me, it feels comfortable. It does. I wouldn't say a home. A person, it feels like a space where you would think art is. Yeah. yeah. Like when you think about what an artist is or, you know, if you're not involved in it, you know, a lot of times you, you, you think of high end and exclusivity yeah, and all of that other stuff. And yeah. when you go to Irwin House, feels like that it feels like you are walking into just this exclusive private party yeah. with this private scene and then, invite only yeah. and it's not like that it's not uptight at all but it just feels so cool yeah. now to the colors to her red 
gift shop. <laughs> you yes, know, like, she's got the dark wall, that one part of yeah, the dark wall, which I yeah. really like. And you, know, and you go there, she's like got her hair all funky and she's always mm -hmm. dressed in something extravagant and extraordinary. She has tea. And <laughs> it's just a really fun place. Really Can you guys fun. hear me? Can you hear? Can you hear us? Oh, yes. She's shaking her head. Yeah, she's smiling. She's smiling. Hi, Michelle. Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. We're sorry. You know, we're technical. trying. She says she's talking. Okay, hear you. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what else is crazy? We can't see you either. That's why I have to look at my phone. I usually don't have it up. Yes. So you guys are getting the raw, but mm -hmm. we're looking at the phone even so me to make sure that we can see. It's weird today, guys. It's like, yeah. But hey, we always, <laughs> hey, we're artists. We can always smell through. Something yeah. always goes right, you know. We can hype her up. We can hype her up. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know her address. I know it's um, on West Grand Boulevard. At Irwin House. Well, you can't miss it. It's Cat Corner from Motown. Thank you. Oh, this is our VP. Our is going to fix it so we can, have, we can have some uh, um, sound. But it's on, it's on the boulevard. It's on West Grand Boulevard and if Linwood. You, if you're going um, towards. You're going towards Linwood. And it would be so, on the right hand side. It would be on the right hand side if you're going towards Linwood. So if you're going west, it's north. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it has a huge sign on on the front yard, Irwin House, I R W I N. Um, auxiliary input mode. All right, we're having auxiliary input mode. Right. Right. Input mode. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of cornered from Motown, and I, I like that too I because. Too. That area is is Detroit. That's kind of where our soul comes from. Yeah, I feel like you know that's like. And we got Mr. Vito here to just say said, that's 12th Street. <laughs> that's you know. Hello, hello. That's where all the legends were. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. Misha, can you hear us? And you yeah. got Irwin House right I, there. Yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah, Misha. Can, can you hear me? Oh, I thought I heard her say yeah. I don't know. I can hear you. Okay. Maybe she can text us. Um, but then, <laughs> I feel so sorry, guys. We're working on it. We're going to get it. We're going to yeah. get it. We have a lot of people here watching us. So thank you, everybody, for watching us on Facebook and Facebook Live and WJCZ, Cool Jazz TV. We're here, you know, and we got lots of new things coming up, but we're really excited about Misha here. She's just going to be on. I, I want to go through again and really um just explore, again, the work there, even down to the shapes yes, of yeah. the pieces. Just It I makes guess. it different. Isn't Friday night, I think, the, one of the events? I, I don't know what it is, so I don't want to keep talking about it because that's why I know there's I know something Friday night, something but I don't Friday, know. But I don't know the exact detail. Yeah. But y'all have to come and check it out anyways. And that's what I love about Irwin House is that they have so many, many events surrounding the exhibitions and they're not the same. Right. It's not like, okay, we have an exhibit and then we have oh, this, yeah. so, uh, this I'm thing to here for something. the exhibit. And, so, and they're all fun and they're they all are. different and they're all unique and they draw a different type of crowd. And one um, time she had the event where people were just painting on the on the side there. Yeah. They were just painting, and there was all these artists. Yeah. And it was just so fun. It was in the summer. Yeah, they were sitting on the ground and they were just painting. So, you know, I don't, I know Scott McDuffie was there, and I can't remember who else. Mm -hmm. But it was so cool to watch everybody and just hang out. And it's mm -hmm. just a, it's just a really good energy. Yes, you know, the is. energy around the whole thing. Yes, Misha, can you hear us yet? No, I was asked yeah. to. Can you hear me now? We, just we can't hear her. Can't hear her. Yeah. No, so. we still can't. We don't know hear what me. the technical difficulties are yet. We're working. They're working on it. Hello? So yeah. So. Sorry guys, because you really are. Well, we'll get her in. <laughs> yeah. But um, her spirit. You know, it's such a cool um, spirit. It's um, such a cool I was energy. Just talking, it feels like do. Detroit. Um, like you said, it feels like home. It does. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I don't know what other way to put it. It's just I don't think I've been in a cooler gallery. My you know, check. You know, it feels like one, being two, in one, an two. artist studio, and Misha is an artist. And then you have Jonathan, who was painting upstairs. He was doing some painting when I was over there a couple of times. He was yeah. upstairs using the upstairs part mm -hmm. for painting, and he does like a it. lot of the. He mm -hmm. actually has an exhibition coming up on November fifth, 
uh, called Triptych. That's right. Yep, it's with he, Terrell Owen, and Crystal Starks. Oh, that'll be a good one. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. be listing it on Get Down and Dirty Talking Art, you know, Amisha's event and stuff like that coming up. You can always check that and uh, stuff like that and go to her Irwin Gallery on her Facebook page and stuff like that. So. Just a reminder, you're watching Get Down and Dirty Talking Art on WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world, streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook Live. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And if you would like to um, advertise or sponsor, always. <laughs> email us at WJZZCoolTVOfficial at gmail.com. Um, nice. Also, I want to take the time because we're talking about promoting on the Facebook page. Make sure you like our Facebook page. Get down and dirty, dirty talking talk art. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We always try to we always try to um, support the artist and new artists that we find out and around, mm -hmm. and any events that coming up mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And we just you know we always try to find something really kind of cool to kind of show with the art and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's why art. That's what it's, it is. It's why art is going in deep, and that's where you find a lot of the behind the scenes stuff and the good. Yeah. So all the stuff that we can't show on here. <laughs> yeah. But you that'll be coming. There. That'll be coming in yeah. maybe a short while. Yeah. You know, we'll be able to get really down and deep and behind the scenes yeah. and stuff like that. So what's your favorite event at the Irwin House Gallery that you've been to so far? <sighs> I think all of them. Yeah. I think all of them. I, I really like the one when we were outside and then the last one. Mm -hmm. Then we had the Zoom one. Let's Zoom with all the, um, you know, everybody. That's right. Yeah, I forgot that was that there. That was a really cool one. How yeah. was that? It, it was, was how was, because that's such a large It was. Um, we just kind of went around space. the whole the whole downstairs area. Okay. Which really was cool. We had a great turnout. Yeah, I you know. know. A lot of turnout. <laughs> There's a lot of artists. It was kind of nice because... A lot of the artists that had their, their pieces there, we got to catch up with them again and see them and talk to them. Because, you know, we, we talk on Zoom, but we don't get to really actually see them. But it was a really great event. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I don't know how long we were hung there. I think maybe a month? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I know I helped you take it take it down. Mm -hmm. I think I helped put it up, too. I don't remember. It was just, <laughs> I was just saying, I said, okay, I'll go over there and help you guys put it up. And then I helped her. Um, they were putting those those the, the wood things in the ground and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know? Yeah. And the funny thing is, somebody actually took one of the. <laughs> and I'm like, what? You know, yeah, well, it wouldn't be Detroit if you wouldn't have a robbery. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just didn't want him to take that. They could have gotten through something else. Not well, no, you know. In all fairness, well, not in all fairness, because of course it doesn't justify it but he had a piece one of the artists had a piece that glowed in the dark and it was outdoor display and if you're watching this you got it this is detroit we're gonna whoop your ass when we find it, so. <laughs> that's right we're gonna be <laughs> sitting in the front of their house or something. we can laugh now because when we get it you get your ass whooped that's right <laughs> <laughs> somebody got it on display that's right probably inside so, their house now right and um, they did it in the middle of the night which was so bizarre. Yeah, so if you go into your cousin's house and your friend's house, like, dang, that piece looks sweet that? and it glow in the dark, he stole it. Who, who's artist? <laughs> what artist was that? It that was, was Damien Deontay. That's right. But that just kind of goes to show the pieces that are there and how cool they are. First of all, let me just say this. These, these spokes are cemented in the ground, so this isn't anything that's just easy to get. This is something planned and something where somebody actually put effort into yeah, getting. Yeah. So that's why I know if you see this, you know me, you know Debbie, you know art because you went there. You that's went right. through a lot of trouble that's to steal right. this piece. We're gonna whoop your ass. And there was what ten pieces there, and they decided to take that one. I'm going. Okay. Yeah. But at least they didn't take well, anything else. So the piece glows in the dark. Um, it's huge. It's it's beautiful piece, you know. And um, like I said, it just it speaks to the type of work that's there. Right. It's not just work where you have to look at it. And you're like, oh, well, why is it art? Yeah. It's you look at it like, oh my God, I have to have it, you know. And it's fun. <laughs> now it's since fun. the security is wrapped up, so we try it again it's, and see what. But you know. But it's fun. it's um, it's I think. That's funny. It's probably not so funny for Damien. I'm sorry if you watched it. Was, this, and she was not, just, you'll get it. She was so upset. You know. She calls and she goes, They stole the piece. And I'm going, They what? They stole a piece. And I, I was thinking she was joking. And when I went over there, it was gone. Yeah, a hole in the ground. A hole in behind. the ground. There was two pieces of wooden shit. And I'm like, They did some work to get that thing up. Oh, yeah. I was like, Some wow. crackheads still yeah, in It's like, Detroit. Come on, people. You know? <laughs> we see somebody on the corner holding that. I'll be just stopping and going, just bring that right over here, please. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But I went to 
It was an exhibition, actually Jonathan. Yeah. That's what it was. It was Jonathan Harris's exhibition. Um, I went there for, I forget the title of it, um, but he had some very large pieces as oh, always. Painting. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. He just wore the black and white stuff. This was before the black and white series. Really? Oh. So this was catching up on a lot of his colored, a lot of very realistic um, paintings, mm -hmm. but in surreal sort of imagery. So he had... Um, he had his lion, which just sold at auction. It sold for, I think, like $1,300 or something Ooh. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But he had that piece hanging. He actually, I mean, it's so, a lot of them sold. There was one piece I wanted, but I just couldn't afford yeah. it. Um, but there was a lady that had her hands behind her back and she was blindfolded. It's just very high contrast. I like his kind. Images. I like his black and I love the way well, he does it. These weren't black well, and white, that you said. but they still that. were very, very high contrast. Um, and as, as Debbie mentioned, Jonathan Harris is one of the, I won't say resident artists, but I believe he is, correct me if I'm wrong, um, one of the resident artists at Erwin House. So you will see him there usually, and you'll see a lot of his artwork. Um, he'll have exhibitions, and he's always promoting um, Erwin House. But he does such powerful work, oh, always growing, always evolving. That's what's so cool about an yeah. artist is they don't stay stuck in the gutter they keep expanding mm -hmm. out and expanding out and trying new things and i think that's what's important about art is to actually try and just kind of reach out it's like you know do it from the gut just keep on going it's like you just got to keep on you know going and stuff misha can you hear us can you say anything can you yell can you go <laughs> what is it Morse i can hear colors? you say hey, what up though hey misha <laughs> Oh, I'm so. Oh, I know. I can I hear you. I know you guys see her too, and she's looking pretty. It's like, hey, <laughs> everybody wave to me, And follow Sam Cathar. Those are that's that beautiful picture that you see behind Misha right now. Oh yeah, she's because we made sure she. I said, please set up so we can see some of your amazing artwork and stuff like that. You know, and she's right. Um, on that high contrast wall, that dark wall. I just oh, the dark. So I love classy. that black wall. And I like art on the dark. Wall. You know, I yeah. like black and white, but I like it. It's like it's a black and white. It's really no color. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's when I use my walls. My walls are dark, and mm -hmm. it just makes your work pop. It so, pops. It does. And the fact that she has both, it just does something it to does. the space. It, it makes does. it feel that much bigger, that much more elegant. You know, it goes really with any type of color. It's just, and then the shape of it. It just. You guys got to go and see the space. I know. You know, it's just a, I don't know much about the house. I don't know much about the history of the house. Hi, and they, you know, everybody. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. Say what up, though. Everybody say what up, though, Misha. Hey. You can't hear her. <laughs> no. So, yeah. But I love that space. I know. I love it. And I the know. reds, the colors. I, love I guess because I'm a woman. <laughs> I like the brick when you walk up in the brick big porch. Because he's like, she's kind of you like the porch side. You can get some drinks on the porch. Yeah. Just, yeah. It, just, it just feels very comfortable. Yeah. It's not that, like that you said that yeah. stuff. You know, yeah. Kind of yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, I don't I don't like that, you know. You, you feel like you came somewhere. Yeah. You know. And it's just a fun, it's a fun atmosphere, but a comfortable and it's an elegant. It's a whole combination of everything. Mm -hmm. And then you got the upstairs, which is really cool. No, and then you got how the do I do that? they had. I mean, one time I went in there, I don't know, first time I was invited there, and um, they had something going on on the TV, and they had the art hung. It was... I didn't see that. Yeah, you know, this was quite about maybe two, three years ago. I was invited oh, wow. from my friend Pam McQueen. She had called and just went over there, and I did, and I was just like... Well, I'm oh, calling so Debbie's home cool. right now. I'm so cool. cool. I'm I feel naked. With um, my <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. You always look so good. You always look so good. So, you know... I liked, um, I didn't see Are you this to let her know that I'm um, I saw a third party, I guess, from um, just people going live. And, and uh, shout out to Glenn Kuyansu, who we right. had on, because uh, he's I don't really know is the I man behind Glenn. all of the events. He's, yes, he's always there he's taking there, his photographs. Takes all the Thank pictures. you, Glenn. Thank um, you, Glenn. But I enjoyed Aaron, Aaron Whitaker's work. That was another yes. artist that she displayed there. And get, he had a solo, a solo show. I really, really enjoyed his work. Um, he really made use of all of the space. It's um, he prior to the pandemic, he would bring in to the Breakfast Club, Detroit Finance Breakfast Club, at Noni's on on um, yeah, yeah, yeah. on, on Livernois. 
uh, Misha trying to call you. Oh, is she? Okay. <laughs> we might have to call her and do it that way. Maybe. Go ahead and talk. Let's. All right. <laughs> She says, I can hear you guys. Maybe we'll just, maybe I'll call her. Call her. Talking. Call All her. right, Misha, we're going to call, call you. We're going to rig it. We're going to make it this. work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Misha. All right, hold on. All right. Hello. Hey, can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Well, we got something. I'm going to bring you close to the, uh, um, to the, um, to our microphone. So, Misha, talk to us. Hi, I can hear you guys the whole time. Can you? No, we can't hear you at all. Yeah, this, I don't know if this will work. Well, it's okay as long as they can hear you from the phone because there's other people that have it on the phone. Right, right, right. We're holding up the phone so yeah. you can talk. It's, it's, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're going to be like, y'all watching it now. We can't hear you. I don't know what happened. Thank, Thank you, Lisa. Welcome. Hi, maybe uh, put the phone on speaker and move it a little further away from the mic. Hi, we're you on speaker. Um, okay. If it's close to the mic, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of feedback. Okay, do you hear feedback now? I just, I don't know if people can hear me. If they can hear me. Can anybody hear her? Can everybody just like say, hey, hey, hey? We're just trying to get to see if we can just get you to talk or... Okay. I'm gonna have to stop with uh Mr. Derek, can you guys hear her? I'm trying to get we're you. trying to do a mic check one two one two. <laughs> no, no, no sound people. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We're supposed to but so can you tell us about the event that's coming out? No, I don't hear you here at all. We're sorry, everybody. Oh, I'm back now. Well, thank you. Everybody, you know us right now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Janet. She says she can hear her. Okay. Thank you, Misha. Welcome. Whoops, Misha. Hi. Hi. Oh, did you hang? No, don't hang up. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, no, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Wait. She said she was getting a lot of feedback from the mics. I'm going to call her back. Can you give her a call back? Call me back. Okay, sorry everybody. We're so sorry. We're getting a lot of feet. I can hear the squeaking coming on. Yeah. That's like, okay. We are going to make this work. Yes. So we help do. me God. Because she has some stuff for everybody to hear and it's important. You know, it um, we can talk about how fabulous the space is and how fabulous the exhibits are and how fabulous the artist is and how fabulous the art is. It's flying off well, the I wonder about seven. her history. I want to know But about her. it's so much for you guys to hear directly from her. We, I, I want to see if we can. All right. Can y'all hear? Hello. Hello. It, oh, this, oh, this I think, I think is better. better better okay okay so we're gonna try phone. it this way <laughs> okay okay so we'll try not to get any all right everybody welcome oma misha yay, yay! <laughs> we got misha on the phone Hi. Was, so we uh, improvised uh, um, really really nice listening to you all okay. listening to you all say all the different it's about the gallery it's all about true and you're a great person and you're fun and it's just like it just what you blend so well mm -hmm. it's just such a good blend and it's such a great thing you know mm -hmm. so we well, want to tell them wait about wait, wait. Yeah. real quick before we even get into yeah. it you guys are tuning in to get mind. down and dirty talking art with Calibri, the artist and Debbie LaFrat on WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world, streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook Live. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you want to call for Misha, call us at 313-355-6018. And if you want to sponsor, email us at WJZZCoolTVOfficial at gmail.com. All right. Now, we're going to get really down and dirty talking about Oh, Mamisha. Thank you for coming in. Who is who is well, Oma Misha? Tell us everything. Yeah. Tell us about you. Tell us about Irwin House, where to start everything. Yeah, Let's start, go. Let's start from the beginning, girlfriend. Okay, well, um, I am a curator. 
uh, arts educator and artist. I'm a native of Detroit. I have uh, spent most of my adult life in New York. Um, I guess I'm cultivating, cultivating my, my practice, practice and building, and building my, my career mm -hmm. and um, returned home. I, I don't want to say return to Detroit because I was I never left Detroit. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't feel like I'm up and moved away and left Detroit because I've always spent a lot of time here um almost every, every summer here with my kids my kid, and, and remain very, very connected to the city, city. Mm -hmm. um but my aunt and uncle had a vision to um turn this property into a gallery they're um art enthusiasts and uh, world travelers my aunt valerie or one who um many of you have had the pleasure of meeting um, around the gala. You certainly will. You will never forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, the gallery was actually a vision of and it was something that I was uh, working with them to bring to fruition uh, from New York. But, but in the process of um, really kind of trying to figure out how to bring this vision to life um my uncle passed away that was in 2013. yeah so um thank you my aunt and i kind of uh, continued and um you know got the doors open finally and here we are thank you you know, you know they, they've seen the vision. Yeah, seen the vision. Yeah. It's a work in progress. It's still a work in progress. It was a complete um, gut rehab. So it's a, it's a process. Yeah. 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 Yeah
for the artist, you know, to really, really express what she meant to us and how she impacted our lives. So, um, so yeah, we did that event and that was a down and dirty event. <laughs> I love that. That was, that was a down and dirty to that event. You're <laughs> Yeah, I can guarantee you that. Okay. So, um, so, um, and then we did one so exhibit after that. Nice. On, uh, so then Detroit, we closed the Detroit Culture History, um, and that was it. Um, really just celebrating the city and our memories uh, for the future. Year. And uh, we had some great artists in that show that was on the show. Uh, Pray called John, the history. Uh, that was an exhibit. Dolores, um, just, uh, and, uh, and, and we have uh, to national uh, show that show, 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 um, show program um, in addition to that show. Uh, 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 um, um, uh, a lot of wonderful. Uh, uh, we did a uh, book signing uh, event uh, with Lee uh, Liebler. And, uh, we hosted some students from and, uh, Wayne State and, uh, University. And we hosted some students and we from the with John uh, Wayne State and, uh, University. And, uh, and we had did a residency with John Sims during that event. Um, John Sims from Florida and did a, a project, a multimedia project. And speaking to the remaining uh, members of the block. Block, and, uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, <laughs> how did you guys survive COVID? Um, going back and yeah, uh, how did you guys the and, and, uh, and so the uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. do anything. We just yeah. shut down. We didn't attempt um, to do anything. I actually stayed, I actually stayed here. Um. I had been traveling a little bit, uh, and just to be safe, I didn't want to uh, stay in the house with my aunt. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I stayed here for the shutdown. And you know, like everybody else, I I reflected and uh, renewed and uh, had some creative time, and you know, just tried to try to stay safe. And came out okay. soon. Came, came out to a successful year. Are you an artist? You, 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 I do. Yes, I do a little bit of art. Yes. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. You know. yes. Yes. So, but I'm more. I, I'm more. Fo I'm more interested in focusing on working with other artists. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah. I mean, I do. I create art. Um, you know, when I feel that I have something that I want to express visually, but I'm I don't really um, have any aspirations to really have a career as an artist. Well, you got this amazing. So where do you feel that um, come from? Okay, all right. But I did want to ask how your do you believe that you're being an artist? How does that um, impact your ability to work with artists and exhibit? Because one thing with urban really does a feeling. It really, it really does connect with artists. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't feel like while you're pimping. <laughs> yeah, it feels it feels, it feels artistic. It, it feels. Um, not just like you're helping like artists, but just artists, it's a whole mood that goes along with your events and, and, and space and, and everything. And, and, you know, you know think you're creative. Creative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it definitely gives you a different uh, connection and a different relationship um, with the artists um, than probably a lot of galleries or you know um art spaces because um i'm always going to advocate on behalf of the artists because 
you know, I was an artist first before I started doing any of this other kind of work in the arts. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess at you know at my core, I'm I'm always going to be an artist. So um, yeah, you know, I think it definitely it allows me to connect and empathize. I think more with artists. Um, you know, a lot of the things artists do cannot be explained and understood. And I think I have a lot, a lot of, a lot more patience with that. <laughs> So yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it definitely impacts um, my work as a as so a how curator. Do you select yeah. artists, yeah, for uh, different events. So how do you select the artists for different events? Most of the times, I'm starting. Um, I mean, usually for an exhibition. Um, most of the times I'm just starting to go and um, you know you 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 go around you get art look at art learn about different artists you see their work and you tell notes you know you know who they are the type of work they do um, the type of um, not just the style of work they do but the type of subjects that they approach yeah. in their work and and you know when a particular thing comes up you know that that artist comes to mind you know for instance when we did our um, the show we did earlier history month and women's history month um you know once the theme for the show was established i began to you know just think of artists i seen or encountered or in some cases even worked with before who I knew um, created work that would fit within that. So, you know, you're always kind of um, um, looking at art artists and just kind of keeping a key tab, you know, in your head. They are, who does what, um, who you want to Mm -hmm. Who you want to watch? Who you want to work with? Who you, you want to work with? And uh, you know, opportunities come up to plug them in. You you plug them in, and so you're gonna have who introduce themselves to, which is always um, you know something that I'm in. And you know you may not be able to work with them at that moment, and you may not be able to work. Uh, you know, when they want to work with you, but if, the, if it's good art and they're good artists, you know, you're going to keep them in mind. So, you know, for that reason, you know, it's important for artists to just let people see what they can do, to use themselves to people, to put themselves into a different thing. You know, and even if you don't, Get it. If it's a grand, grand if it's an uh, exhibition, yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. That's so, how did you, how, how has it been setting up for this show? The current, the current uh, exhibition is going on. Um, this show was well, every show has its challenges, but as you know, for this show, um, spaces in between, we have uh three New York artists and one local artist, and the three New York artists are um artists that I have I have really close relationships with all of them, we work together in different capacities. Um, for for years, years and, and um, these, are these are just really cool, really people, cool, very professional artists. artists um, you know, you who know, I really appreciate just as human, human beings, beings as well as being great artists who um, who I wanted to bring here, who I wanted y'all to meet. You know, <laughs> and um, hmm. Are New York and the people from New York and 
No, on, uh, Sam will be here Friday. Um, at least one of them might be coming toward the end of the month, toward the end of the month. Now, what's happening? Yeah, what's exactly happening? Okay, so uh, Friday, uh, we're going to do a kind of informal talk with Sam about her art and her process, Sam Kakar, and um, her partner, Tony Delgado, who goes by Program 17, will be um, providing the soundscape. So he'll be doing some creative music for the event and they will have some of their favorite uh, cuisine, you know, dishes, cultural dishes. And um, yeah, I'll have some, I'll have some sangria and some tea. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. We invite you to come and hang out with us. Yeah, and what time did you get ready? That is from 6 to 9 p.m. Okay, Friday. Friday. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's um 2351 West Grand Boulevard between LaSalle and Linwood. Right. I know. That's my area. That's your stopping ground. Right on 12th Street. That's my stopping ground. I love that. It's just the soul of it. Yeah. So, um, oh, got a little off track. So, with this current exhibition, oh, oh, oh. your artist talk. I don't know if you did. She just hosted the most wonderful artist talk. Really? Yes. I love it. I really enjoyed it. It was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a dull moment. No, it wasn't a dull moment. Oh, good. Yeah, it was a really good moment. Um, um, what I like I about, about not, not just, I mean, I mean, obviously, it's still through the work, but, but for, each for each artist, artist their personality, personality and the knowledge that they have, have not so much artwork, but just life, right? Yeah. 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 Choose, choose very, very interesting people to exhibit. How was it putting together the artist talk? That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. I really, you know, like I said, like these, um, Particular artists are, uh, and I think I mentioned this in the talk a little bit. Um, you know, Detroit. Every, everybody who knows me in New York knows and has always known I'm from Detroit. Like, like I may as well have just like crossed my forehead. And, you know, for 20 years, like everybody knows it's from Detroit. And, you know, at any time anything comes up from Detroit, they call me. Oh, I, you know. <laughs> oh, I heard about this in Detroit. Or this, I know this other person from Detroit. So I just want everybody to know I've been living, I have been living in, in New York for the past so the true 20 years. Plus years, but I have been repping Detroit hard. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> and not even on purpose. Just, that's, it's just, it's innate. Like, it's, it's just a big part of who I am. So, but by the same token, um, I did live in New York. For most of my, for most of my adult life. And I, I'm realizing now that yeah that's that was a second home to me and it's uh that's a big part of who i am too so these two arts communities that and i've been very involved in both um i want to bring them together you know because what you do here we 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 one um one common thread, like to me, there are, to me there, are, 
There are a lot of commonalities in the Harlem community, which is I have to do most of my work in New York and in the Detroit community, and that we have this really rich, uh, you know, a really rich black and legacy and, and his that defines us, defines who we are, defines our, our identity, but at, at the same time, um, you know, we, I don't want to say struggling to hold on to, but um, yeah, we have to make an effort to, to hold on to it. So that's like a kind of parallel thing that I see happening in both places. Um, and, you know, as far as the arts, like the, you know, it's different. The art scene here is different than it is there. Um, it's Detroit's art city is very robust. You know, you know, which, and, which is amazing. And I've always talked about that. I've always kind of bragged about that in New York and, you know, just um, how um, prolific, successful some of the um, local artists are. And, I, you know, I feel like the best figurative artists in the world. <laughs> Are here, are here. Like I'm, I'm a figurative artist, and in New York, they think I'm pretty good. But I tell them, oh no, oh no, no, you don't even understand. You come to Detroit, and I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. You know, just in terms, just in terms of talent, just in terms of talent. So you find me at the bottom of the totem pole in Detroit. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> so, like, um, abstract, um, conceptual, mixed media, like that. There's a lot of, there's like an overabundance of, of that kind of art in New York, which is cool. I don't, I don't want to say overabundance. Um, but... But there's a lot, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to um, to bring these to, to to Detroit uh, to kind of uh, connect with and you know vibe with the abstract artists here, and um, you know I feel like the artists here I, I feel like artists in both places have information tools you know inspiration that they can offer each other or that we each other to keep our communities strong in both places i don't know if that made any sense but <laughs> oh no just real, real quick, quick. you can let us know if everybody can reach you, reach you. what's your upcoming, what's, what's next, your upcoming and then also we like to end on a positive yeah. note, so if you could just tell us something um, that you want people to, to, to know, know that grow from, from or just yeah. something in any advice you would give. Okay. okay, so, um, so um, first of all, um, our good spaces in between runs through August, I'm sorry, October 30th, <laughs> and um, our hours are Thursday through Sunday from 12 to 7 p.m., so you're welcome to come by at any time during those hours and by appointment, other days and times. Um, our upcoming exhibition, which we're really excited about, I heard you guys talk about it earlier, um, Triptych Stronger Together. Is which is by curated by Jonathan Harris and with with um, his um, his work along with um, and, and two emerging artists Terrell Anglin and her fifth. There'll be a reception for that from five. Um, um, it is also important to know that um, you, you know, know we are trying to keep trying to keep our, our uh, Sanitize and, and COVID safe, safe. Uh, and um, long as long as our permits, our events have been indoor, outdoor. 
So as long as other permits will be will be doing that and, and trying to keep, trying to get keep um get inside to a minimum and temperatures at the door. So, yeah, I would love to thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sorry so it didn't much. work out. Um, we got the phone. We got the phone. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You're yeah. watching yeah. 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 Easy, Cool Jazz TV. Uh, thank you all and good night. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right on Grand River. 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 Grand